Good morning, and welcome to this episode of Mr. Manera's Homeschool. All right, so uh, this week we're going to be starting Unit 7. Unit 7 is all about geometry. And here you can see some of our vocabulary for this unit. Um, something very important as uh, degree, the word degree. Um, that is a unit for measuring angles. And um, I've mentioned this before when we do the warm-up. Um, and the symbol to represent degrees is this little circle. And you'll see some more examples in a little bit. Um, a protractor is this uh, tool used to measure the angles. And again, you've seen this in the warm-ups. It looks just like this. And it goes from 0 to 180. All right, so we're going to just jump right in. Um, we're going to start off with the basics. And so here we have some uh, definitions for points, lines, line segments, and rays. Um, so a point is just this, uh, ex this, you know, you're very familiar with it. You've seen it before. And it just is an exact location. Okay. And then um, points, we usually name them so that you know exactly what point I'm referring to. And we usually name them using letters. So, for example, I could put it... Uh, a on top of this and that would be point a okay and so then we have a line and so a line is just like this so it has a, a arrow and an arrow on the other side so these are a rays of, it goes in both directions and so um, that tells me that it goes on forever in both directions so a line goes on forever in both directions and we uh, show that by doing this Okay, and then uh, we have what is called a ray. A ray has one endpoint, and then it goes forever in one direction. Okay, um, so a line goes forever in both directions. A ray goes uh, forever in one direction. Okay, and then we have a line segment. A line segment is uh, a part of a line, and it has two endpoints. So it ends right there, and it ends right there. And then um, at the bottom, we have some types of lines. Uh, you've heard some of these words before. So parallel lines are lines that go right next to each other. And they never, ever, ever uh, touch. They never cross. They never touch. Okay. So they go right next to each other, just like these right here. And again, they could go on forever, but they would never, ever, ever touch. And then we have uh, perpendicular lines. So perpendicular lines are lines that intersect, uh, but they do so in a very particular way, right? They intersect and they form uh, these right angles, right? They form like these perfect corners. And then, um, then we just have lines that cross, that intersect, um, just like this, right? So perpendicular lines are intersecting lines, but they're a specific kind of intersecting lines. They're lines that intersect and make uh, right angles. Okay, and so I'm going to just uh, keep going, and here, this is what I was telling you, so point uh, looks just like this, and we could uh, name them by putting a letter next to it, or on top of it, so here's like the point A, okay, then we have a line segment, remember line segments have two endpoints, and the way you uh, write the symbol for a line segment, for example, this one, A, B, it's just like this, A, B, and it has a line like that. Okay, a ray, for example, this one has point A, and then it has a ray going to B. This would be A, B. And you can see here it has the arrow on one side, uh, because remember, a ray goes forever in one direction. And then a line, remember, a line goes uh, forever in both directions. So you have A, B, line A, B, and it has the arrows on both sides. Okay, now... Um, this week we're also going to be talking about the different types of angles okay and so um here we have the four types of angles uh, let me see if i can make it a little bigger okay so we have oops we have a um oops let me zoom in here we go so we have a right angle a right angle is um measures 90 degrees 90, 9, 0, and it forms like this perfect corner, okay? So uh, right angles, you see them everywhere, right? It's like the corner of your paper. The corner of your paper is a perfect corner that is a 90-degree angle. And then we have, uh, if it's anything bigger than that, 
if it's bigger than a 90 degree angle, it's called an obtuse angle. An obtuse angle looks just like this guy over here, right? So right angle is like this, it's like a perfect corner. And anything bigger than that is obtuse. Now, anything smaller than that, it makes uh, something called an acute angle. Acute angle is probably the easiest to remember um, because I always tell people it's like the small angles. So the small angles is like, ah, oh, look at that acute angle. What a cute angle, right? And so small angles, the ones that are smaller than 90 degrees, are acute. And then if we have something called a straight angle. So straight angle is just basically flat. It kind of looks like a straight line. And that one measures exactly 180 degrees. And um, you'll see what I mean by that in a bit. Okay? Um, and so again, parallel lines are two lines that are the same distance, but will never ever meet. And then perpendicular lines cross, and they make a uh, perfect 90 degree angle. Okay? Now, this week, you're also going to be learning about uh, angles. So what is an angle? When two rays meet at a common endpoint, they form an angle. And so here you can see what I mean. Uh, so this is a ray right here. This is ray BA or AB, you could call it. And then we have ray BC. And they form at this point. And so this point is called the vertex. is a point where they, the two rays meet. And they form what is known as an angle. All right. So this week, uh, we're going to be talking a lot about angles. I'm going to show you how to measure them, um, how to create your own. Uh, but for now, I just want you to, in your journal, um, write these words down. Okay, so a point is a particular spot. Again, you can uh, feel free to uh, pause the video and write and then just uh, play and pause, play and pause until you have all of these down. Okay, so a point is a particular spot. A ray has a point and extends endlessly in one direction, so it goes forever in one direction. A line goes endlessly in both directions. Again, it goes forever in both directions. And it, again, it has an arrow on both sides. And then a line segment is uh, has two endpoints. So a line segment goes from point A to point B. And that's all you have to write for today. Um, if you want, you can also go ahead and draw these, the angles. Uh, but we will talk about those a little bit more tomorrow. Okay? All right. See you tomorrow.